They were super, super tasty. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are. Welcome to my creative life. If you're new to this channel, I'm Key. I'm a visual artist, and I'm also the designer at shopleahjan.com. Today, I have a fun video in store for you. I will be unlocking the vault. <laughs> and showing y'all all of my pictures in my Instagram archive. So right here we have my Instagram page and you can see it, key to you. And these are all of my public pictures, but we're gonna go deep diving into this archive, okay? Let's go all the way to the beginning of my archive. What you're seeing right now is one of my first digital paintings. Um, it took a while for me to do this. I was still figuring everything out and it was super, super hard. I mean, I didn't know crap and it, it took such a long time. This flower is something that I came up with on my own. I didn't really have any inspiration from anything. I just wanted to make something that was like super droopy and curvy and whatnot. And I thought this looked very cool. And the more I kept making it, the more I kept making a meaning for it, but yeah, I thought this little colorway was cool. I was going for a vintage kind of cartoon vibe with these colors. I was thinking more like Hanna-Barbera kind of Scooby-Doo vibes, if you know what I'm talking about. I think I pretty much nailed it with the colorway. I really enjoyed making this. And then once I started making digital art, I couldn't stop. I was on a roll with it. So I made this one and this is my skeleton that symbolizes the life cycle how there's life and death all of that it has a deep meaning but also thought it was kind of fun and it looked cool like it looks like something's like traveling through the galaxies or whatnot look my mind works all kinds of ways so i made that one and then i wanted to make an animation with this flower and what you see is a girl kind of like blowing on it like a dandelion and she's blowing the pollen off of the flower. I thought that was pretty nice. This is my first go at creating an animation and I had so much fun doing it. It was really, really hard. I mean, like it took me hours to make this, but it was fun. At the end of the day, I loved the outcome of it and it was only the beginning for me and I was super inspired when I made this. And then I wind up making more. You can see this one. This is just more of the flower with a little more details. I wanted to play with the texture of the flowers. I made a blue one. I made a yellow one, joyful. I think that's what it's called. Enjoy is what it's called. I like to do this thing where I play with words as well. So you'll see that a lot in my captions. And then I just made patterns out of it. I thought these patterns were really, really nice. Yeah, this might be a new Leah Jan design. Maybe. Then here is one of my paintings from my series in memoir. This painting series was based on my first time experiencing nature full on. I was born in a city and yeah, we have like some kind of parks and you know, the beach and everything, but I had never been into like the woods and whatnot. So when I first went into the woods and like discovered caverns and stuff, it was very eye opening and super, super cool. And I made these paintings to remember those moments the way that I felt. So these are abstract expressionism and they just show you how I felt in the woods. I, I tried to make them like optical illusional and I think, I think it was really fun to make, honestly. And these pieces are pretty big too. It was nice painting them. So after that, I made this series. In the 80s, Miami was like bad. If you know Miami history, you know what I'm talking about. But, then the art scene came about and transformed Miami into the beautiful city that you know it as today. And this series was based on that. This is definitely one of my more feminine pieces. I like to express every part of me through my art. And I feel like sometimes when I express like the bad things, you know, the things that are kind of darker in life, it inspires me to express the good things in life as well. And I wanted to just show that through everything, I always keep my hopefulness, I always keep my passion. And I always look at things with bright eyes because there can be so much good in life that we can experience. And I like capturing that within my art as well. And I love this piece because it's just so colorful and bright and fun. And it has a very good meaning too. So these pieces were my first go at surrealism and making digital collages. 
I absolutely freaking love this and it was based on my trip to Virgin Islands. <laughs> this is for the 21 and up crowd, but let me tell you, the drinks in Virgin Islands are nothing like the drinks in the States. Those drinks had me off because they were so freaking good. They were so sweet. And it was like, you wanted another one. It didn't taste like it had anything in it. And then you drink it and you're like, whoa. But yeah, they were so tasty. They were super, super tasty. I had so much fun on that trip. I swam with the turtles. I went zip lining. Man, the Virgin Islands, the Virgin Islands were like super beautiful there and it was really relaxing. It's just peaceful. And I, I appreciated it and I had to make art pieces about it as well. So those are just some of the art pieces from that. I kept making so many different collages from there because digital art had become like my thing for a moment. Trust me, at first I did not even want to do digital art. I was like, so into painting, it was crazy. I was like, I'm not doing anything except painting. Once I started making my surreal digital collages, I fell in love with digital art as well. So along with digital art, you'll see some of my photography here. And these are really cool. I kind of made these like science inspired. I just kind of like took like droppers and I'm not even gonna tell you how I made it, but my living room turned into a little lab out here. I took pictures, really, really close up pictures of it. And I loved how these turned out. They were really, really nice and cool. And I took a whole bunch of pictures of them. And it looks like, it kind of looks like something from space. I don't know. I altered these in Photoshop as well. It's pretty awesome. These were done with outside lights. So my idea behind these was that I wanted to kind of turn my camera into the brush and I wanted to paint a picture with the camera. And it turned out pretty freaking cool. Like I just went outside and just started like swirling my camera around and I came up with some cool effects from it. And it was really, really, really fun to do these. I had a lot of cool colors within it and it definitely made me see the city in a different way. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys had fun looking at my hidden pictures on Instagram. If you would like to, please like and comment on this video and go ahead and subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn those post notifications on so that you can be updated with any new video that I come out with. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see y'all next week. Peace out.